This generation had a special place in our history as a country. Iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Letters of gratitude still come to the men and women for their service during World War II, a war many have forgotten from the pages of our nation's history. We were battling for something that we thought was right for our country. At 17, Bud Chandler joined the Navy. It was 1944. There was a big push in the South Pacific, and America needed a lot of men. I grew up being proud. I grew up uh, honoring the flag, honoring my country, and, and, uh, uh, and it was just what you did. Americans came off the farms and out of the factories to help, doing their job with heart. And in our country, uh, hmm, the one we've been fighting for, uh, was able to give us the, the support. They did what was required to save our nation, defending the freedoms we enjoy today. How do you say thanks? For months, a committee of volunteers have been working to send 100 Oklahoma veterans on an all-expense-paid trip to the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. The program is known as Honor Flights and started in 2005. Now, more than 18,000 veterans across the country have made the trip. Oklahoma's World War II veterans are now among them. I just uh, want every veteran in Tulsa and in Eastern Oklahoma to be able to experience this and know that the peace and the honor and the love that the people of the United States and the people of Oklahoma have for them uh, by giving them just a few moments here at their, uh, at their memorial. The rain was almost symbolic of the images this site conjured up. What it has done is uh, bring back many, many memories of what went on a good many years ago. And we live some of them and just grieve for some of the others. 16 million Americans responded to service in World War II. A number of them did not make it back. They were fathers, sons, brothers, and friends. Gold stars mark their place at the memorial. You come to realize that there's 400 stars on that wall, and that each star represents 1,000 lives that were given up during that conflict. And that kind of brings it home to you, you know. It makes you wonder, do Americans really understand the steep price to preserve liberty? That's why Bud Chandler is determined to bring history to life, even to strangers visiting this historic site. It just makes you like appreciate it a lot more knowing that like you can hear from somebody that was actually in the war. Oklahoma's honor flight tour concluded at Arlington National Cemetery. On more than 600 acres, veterans from each of the nation's wars are buried. In a solemn ceremony, Oklahoma's veterans witnessed the changing of the guard and a wreath placed at the Tomb of the Unknown. Of course, at age 84, I was beginning to wonder if I would ever get up here. I'm sorry, up here to see this. It's estimated America loses 1,000 World War II veterans each day. That's why so much has been packed into this precious time with them. No detail missed. James Lazenby, mail call. Thank you, sir. Thank you for serving our country. I appreciate your hard work and time away from your family. The only reason I can go to college is because you fought for my freedom. This is the first time anybody's ever done anything about honoring uh, me particularly and World War II veterans in general. So we really appreciate this, all of us do. And I know we have, we have a country that has some problems, and I know we're not perfect, but we're a lot better than whoever comes in second. Thanks to the Bud Chandlers and others who have served our nation and are still serving, we owe a debt of gratitude.